Shortly after the Galaxy Z Fold 7 was released, Samsung did roll out an update, but it was mostly just some small tweaks and bug fixes, nothing too substantial. But today, arriving on my personal Z Fold 7 is, I think, uh, what's going to be the first really substantial update to the Z Fold 7, changing some things and adding some new features. We're going to go through this here in this video, and there's actually a couple of things that I've already spotted that are not mentioned on this change log, and I'll be showing you those as well. Let's zoom in here, and we'll see what item number one is. And I must be honest, it's something I could not care less about. Check stock prices without unlocking your phone. Stocks you follow on Google Finance with big price changes will appear on your now bar at the end of the trading day. So, of course, your now bar is this thing down here at the bottom, which you can see mine does have um, a little player there showing up for my living room TV. The idea there is, is that these stock changes would appear on your now bar. Moving on. Do more in DeX on connected displays. You can now add widgets to your home screen when using DeX on a connected display, as well as control settings for the mouse and on-screen keyboard. And then this last bit is just that it is uh, getting the newest security update. So what we need to do now is we're going to grab my cheap $15 capture card. We're going to plug my Z Fold 7 into that and get DeX fired up and take a look at some of the new things in DeX. So here we are in Samsung DeX. The first thing is we can add widgets to the home screen. So let's see how this works. I'm just right clicking the screen and there indeed is an option for widgets. That seems pretty straightforward. How has this not been a thing already? This seems so obvious. Come down here to weather. Let's go ahead and grab that. And yeah, this is just acting like a normal tablet screen. I can just sort of pin this to my screen. I can resize it. Can I make it any bigger than that? No, it looks like that is pretty much as big as it's going to be. Yeah, that makes total, complete, obvious sense. Of course, that should be a thing. Put a little Google search widget there as well. Yeah, that's completely reasonable. Of course, that should have been there. The next thing, though, it says you can control settings for mouse and on-screen keyboard. So let's jump into that. So here we are in the settings. And actually, we're going to take a brief uh, detour because there's something else that I've noticed. This button right here is a full screen button, and that is new. Before, all you had was maximize, minimize, and close. Maximize does this, full screen does that. It makes it, duh, full screen. And then you can come up there, and you can put the bar back up at the top. That is not mentioned, but it is, in fact, new. Let's go to connected device, and we're going to come down here to Samsung DeX. And we are looking for, let's do keyboard controls. First, show on-screen keyboard in Samsung DeX. Show the on-screen keyboard while a physical keyboard is being used. Well, luckily, I do have a physical keyboard. So we can test this out. On-screen keyboard location, phone versus TV or a monitor. That's interesting. So you can change this over to TV or monitor. And that is turned off. So now whenever I click this and I go to type something, Something wonderful is happening that I'm so glad that they have finally allowed me to change. Maybe there's been a way to do this already, but if there is, I wasn't aware of it. Before, anytime I would try to type something in DeX, a keyboard would pop up on screen on my phone, and that is no longer the case. That is not happening. Does that mean I can just turn my screen off now? Because that was always the other thing, is anytime I would go to type something, it would wake the phone up. It's not waking the phone up, which is great, but it is putting an on-screen keyboard on screen, despite the fact that I do have a physical keyboard. I hit the space bar and it went away. Maybe my keyboard just went to sleep. That is leaving my phone screen off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so much better. I don't know why that wasn't a thing. I don't think it was a thing, but that's a big deal for me. We can go back and go into mouse and trackpad. I don't honestly see any other changes here. I'm not sure what else they were referring to because I'm fairly certain all of this has been there from the start. But there is one other thing that I did spot. If we go back a little ways, I guess I can just do it this way. We'll go back into connected display. You can see here this option, flow pointer to phone. So what that means is, as you can see right here, we have my external screen and then we have my phone. And you can actually move the phone around. I think you have to have this enabled to do this. You can have the phone be virtually positioned wherever you want to have it. And what that's going to do is this. Here's my phone, and if I take my cursor off screen, off DeX, hopefully you can see this. The cursor is on my phone screen, and then I can drag it back over, and it's now on the DeX screen. Now that's really cool if you want to set your phone up 
like a little secondary monitor. But I don't do that. I don't want to do that. So all that has been for me is a way for me to lose my cursor. I drag it over to my phone screen. The screen wakes up and it's just been annoying. You can now turn that off. That's another good change for me. Something else I've been noticing over the few minutes it's been since I have updated my Z Fold 7 is that it seems like the animation whenever I open up the phone seems to just be running a little bit better. I would pretty frequently have this issue where, where, where whenever I would open up the phone, it would briefly show me like a black wallpaper. It would just be blank and then my wallpaper would pop in. We're talking about like a very, very brief amount of time, less than a second. But it seems as though this issue has been fixed. I'm not seeing that black blank wallpaper seemingly at all. It seems like now that once the screen is on, it's just on. So maybe they've smoothed that out a little bit. I mean, I keep trying it and I'm not really seeing that issue anymore. So hopefully that's fixed. So guys, based on the fact that I was able to find, I think enough features that are added or changed to double what's in the change log, I think there's a pretty strong chance that there are indeed even more things than this little small changes. Samsung is terrible about this. They'll make these changes and some of them are really good, bug fixes that are really good and they just won't tell you about them. It's a very strange behavior. So if you guys spot anything else, please do drop them in the comments down below. I am very excited about the changes to Dex. I love widgets on the home screen. That is awesome. I like the maximize button. I like that my phone screen is gonna stay off now. Oh man, I am very, very excited about that one. And of course that little black screen, the wallpaper thing, that is pretty good too. That was a little bit of an annoyance for me as well. But again, Tell me what you have found in the update as you explore it. I did install it this morning in the United States. So if you haven't gotten it, check for that update. It's probably going to be there for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.